So this question is asking what happens to the straight line y equals x over 2 uh, under the Mobius transformation, w equals 3 over 2 minus z, uh, where z isn't 2 and z and w are both complex numbers, x plus i, y and u plus i, v. Okay, well what it's actually asking is, uh, it's basically saying, imagine that we have the, uh, the z plane, um, and where this is the real, or x, and this is the imaginary, or y, uh, and we have the line y equals, oops, that's, sorry, that's not very accurate. Um, uh, let's get rid of that. We have the line um, y equals x over 2, which goes through there. So there's y equals x over 2. And what they're asking, and this is the z plane, what they're asking is that when we put uh, this line through this transformation here, w equals 3 over 2 minus z, what comes out of the other side in the w plane? Uh, where this is the real u and this is the imaginary v. So that's what we that's what we need to do. We need to find out when all of the points on the on the line y equals x over two, what do they form under that on that Mobius transformation into the w plane? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make z the subject of the uh, of the equation, and then we're going to look specifically at the line y equals x over two and see what comes out in terms of u and v, and then we can draw that on the w plane. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a go at that. All right, so um, we have uh, that uh, w equals 3 over 2 minus z. So we need to make z the subject of, of that equation first of all. So that's 2w minus wz equals 3, i.e. z equals 2w minus 3 over w. Okay, now we know that z is x plus i, y. So that's uh, x plus i, y equals, and we know that w is u plus i, v. So that's, uh, whoops, sorry, excuse me. W is u plus i v, so that is um, equals uh, u plus i v. Oh, so I've gone too far there. Sorry, that's two u plus i v minus three over u plus i v. All that's doing is putting uh, x and y and u and v into that. Okay, um, and now what we need to do is we need to um, split this side into real and imaginary so that we can compare x and y. And at the same time, we can actually replace x by 2y because we know that uh, y equals x over 2. Okay, so we now know that 2y add iy equals, let's just put the reals together here, 2u minus 3 add 2iv over u plus iv and we need to now multiply by the conjugate because we need to be able to split the reals and the imaginaries here so that's u minus iv uh, and what we're going to do now is we are going to expand that and that is going to give us uh, that 2y plus iy equals just expanding this will be 2u minus 3 times by u what i'm doing is expanding these two brackets here Add 2IVU minus 2U minus 3IV uh, and then add 2V squared because the I times I here is minus 1 and the minus sign cancels to give us plus 2V squared. And on the bottom here, U plus IV, U minus IV is U squared plus V squared. Okay, so what we can do now is just let's rearrange that so that we have the reals. Uh, let's just write the reals in green, why not? So we have the reals is 2y here, uh, equals 2u minus 3u, and let's just have a look, add, add 2v squared over u squared add v squared, and let's put the imaginaries in white. So that's add iy equals, uh, let's have a look what we've got for the imaginaries, add, uh, here we've got um, 2ivu minus 2ivu, add 3 IVU, which means the imaginaries, uh, we have um, 2 UV minus 2 U minus 3 V over U squared add V squared. I think that's right. Uh, yes. Okay. So we can now uh, have these two equations where we have 2 Y equals that, just comparing reals, and Y equals that by comparing the imaginaries and then we can get rid of the y so we have 2y equals 2u minus 3u add 2v squared over u squared add v squared and y equals 2uv minus 
2u minus 3v over u squared add v squared. And then putting that y into there, we have uh, 2u minus... Sorry, excuse me. My bad. We have... Uh, sorry about that. We have 2u minus 3u add 2v squared equals 2... 2uv minus 2u minus 3v. Okay, so let's uh, just expand that out a little bit. That's 2u squared minus 3u add 2v squared equals 4uv minus 4uv add 6v. And they cancel, of course, which now gives us that... Uh, and then let's divide by 2 as well. We have u squared minus... 3 over 2u add v squared minus 3v equals 0. Now this is clearly a circle, um, but we need to do a couple of completing the squares. We need to complete this square and we need to complete this square to find out what the radius and the um, centre of the circle is. Um, so let's just do that. That will be u minus 3 over 4 squared uh, minus 9 sixteenths. That's just completing that square. Add v minus 3 over 2 squared add 9 sorry minus 9 over 4 that's completing the second square no apologies equals 0 so therefore u minus 3 quarters squared add v minus 3 over 2 squared equals taking the others on the other side 9 sixteenths add 9 over 4 which is 45 over 16 which is, uh, that is uh, 3 root 5 over 4 squared. So we now know that under the Mobius transformation, uh, where is it, uh, W equals 3 over 2 minus Z, the line Y equals X over 2, which is this line here, transforms into the circle U minus 3 quarters squared at V minus 3 over 2 squared equals 3 root 5 over 4 squared, which is a circle center 3 quarters 3 over 2 and radius 3 root 5 over 4. So we can draw that in, the, um, in, in this one if we want to. So 3 root 5 over 4 is the radius and uh, the center was uh, 3 quarters here, 3 over 2 here and the radius is 3 root 5 uh, over 4, so the circle would be something along the lines of that. So that line there, under the Mobius transformation, W equals 3 minus 2Z, is transformed into that circle there.